Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be doing a review of Brand Analyzer. So Brand Analyzer is an online tool which allows you to analyze any website or brand on the internet. So all you have to do is enter the URL for that website or brand within um, this tool and you'll be able to get some key information about that website or that brand. So you'll be able to see the brand summary, some KPIs, the brand SEO, history, brand keywords, brand backlinks, brand competitors, and you'll also get some information about the brand's social activity, and you'll get an estimate of that brand traffic. They also have some other features included, which is the local hunter, SERP hunter, backlinks hunter, a free hunter, keywords hunter, and expired hunter. So in today's video, we'll be going over all of these features included in Brand Analyzer, and we'll be walking through this tool to see how you can use it within your business to do some competitive research. So the first thing that you'd want to do is grab a website or a brand that you want to do some competitive research on. Then head back over to Brand Analyzer, paste that URL, and click search. And once that's finished loading, we'll be able to see a summary of that brand. So we see the name of that website or brand, we see the domain, the year it was founded, the industry in which it's in, number of employees, where it's located, and we'll also see some links to their social media. And if we scroll down below summary, we'll be able to see some business information. So the main categories in which this business is in, the amount of traffic or the estimated number of visitors per month from the search engine, ads and social networks. We see uh, how many keywords they're ranking for online. And we also see an estimated conversion rate. So this will give us an estimate as to how many people are actually converting that visit their website. So this would be a pretty useful metric in which you can take a look at if you're doing some competitive research. And if you're trying to do some research about a specific niche, um, and try to gather as much information as you can before getting into that niche. So that is a pretty uh, cool piece of metric in which we have back here. And below the estimated conversion rate is the average order value. So this is going to be the average amount that people spend when they make a purchase on that website or brand. So for Orbello, the average order value is $195. And below the average order value will be the monthly estimated revenue. So this is how much this tool is estimating that Orbello is making each month. Of course, you'd wanna take this number with a grain of salt because I'm not sure where they're getting that information from. Um, because it is hard to estimate a company's revenue if they actually don't share those numbers online. But still, this is a good metric for you to take a look at because if you want to get into a specific niche or if you want to be um, competing with a specific brand, it's good to know what uh, you're going up against. And once you've taken a look at the brand summary below, that will be the brand KPI. So these are key performing indicators for this website. So we see the um, monthly traffic here. We see the average order value, the conversion rate, the monthly revenue. And we also have some other metrics such as the estimated average purchase frequency. So how many times people are making a purchase on this website, the estimated customer lifetime period, and the lifetime value of each customer. So again, I'm not entirely sure where they're pulling this information from, so you would wanna take it with a grain of salt, but this is really, really good information that you can get on a brand or a competitor within your niche. So Brain Analyzer actually mentions where they get their information from. So essentially, they analyze millions of websites to index the most up-to-date business data, all the metrics values are estimated values, but they use state-of-the-art complex algorithms to improve the data that are shown in the different modules. So essentially, they pull as much information as they can from Google, and they have some complex algorithms that will calculate how much um, money or how much revenue or what the average conversion rate is for a specific website or brand. So below the brand KPI will be the brand SEO. So this is going to be the domain authority and they pulled this from Moz. You'll also be able to see the page authority, the number of links that are linking to that website, the rank of that website. And you also get some SEO information from Majestic. So you get the citation flow, you get the trust flow, again, the number of links linking to that domain and the number of referring domains that this website has. Below the brand SEO is the brand history. You'll be able to access some historical data for this specific keyword. So we can see on um, the traffic growth or decline over the past 12 months. And also you'll get some data on keyword rankings. So you'll see where they lost or where they gained keywords. And you can also get some information on ads to see if they've ran ads for the past 12 months. 
Now below the brand history are going to be the brand keywords. So these are the keywords that this brand is ranking for on Google. So we can see for this specific brand, they're getting a lot of traffic from motivational quotes. So that's pretty interesting because this is an e-commerce platform. So it is interesting that they um, went and took on this type of content strategy to be able to get more traffic to their website. So again, if you're a competitor, then you can pull some really important information from this and uh, give you some ideas as to things in which you can write about to start getting some traffic to your website. Because if this is your competitor and this is what they've done and this has been successful, then you can go out and replicate that yourself. So you'll be able to see the position that that keyword is ranking, the keyword, the amount of traffic that they're getting, the cost per click, and the URL for that specific keyword. So below keywords will be your brand backlinks. So these are going to be the sites that are linking over to uh, the website in which you're researching. So for each website, you'll be able to see the category of that website, the amount of traffic that they get per month, how many times they've linked, their domain authority. And you also have an email tab, which makes it easy for you to get in contact with any one of these backlinks if you wanna see um, if there's a backlink opportunity for your specific website. And you can also compare this to your own website and you can add this to your favorites. Below backlinks would be the brand competitors. So these are going to be directly related competitors for that specific brand or website in which you entered. And below that will be the brand top pages. So these are going to be the pages that uh, bring in the most amount of traffic for that specific website. So we see here for this brand, motivational quotes uh, ranks for about 36,000 keywords and brings in about 8 million uh, traffic each month. Their blog post about how to make money online also um, ranks for about 20,000 keywords, about 2 million traffic, Instagram captions, online jobs, and so on. So again, you'll be able to do some very in-depth competitor research to figure out what is working for your competitors and um, also go out and replicate that for yourself. Below top pages would be brand malicious. So I believe this would be any type of malicious activity that um, this brand may be doing. We can see the risk score. So the higher this number, the more risky or um, spammy that website is. We can see if it's unsafe, we can see the category, if there's malware, spamming, parking, or adult content on this site. And below this, you'll be able to do a competitive research for all of their brand socials. So Brand Analyzer actually goes out and already pulls their Instagram, their Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok. You can run a task and it'll go out and pull some information about that Instagram. We'll be able to see their bio, the amount of posts that they've created, amount of followers, the amount of following, likes, and comments. So again, a nice quick breakdown of their social media. And if they have a LinkedIn, you can enter their LinkedIn's URL. And if they have a TikTok, you can do the same thing and get some competitive research and get an overview of their socials. Below socials will be your brand report. So this will be an overall uh, report for this specific website or brand. So if you are trying to sell any SEO services, then you can create a brand report for that website, send it over to them and tell them how you can improve some of these metrics. Or if you just want to keep this for yourself, you can download uh, this full brand report. Below that will be your brand emails. So these are going to be the emails that are associated with that specific website or brand. So Brand Analyzer will pull um, all of those emails from their website and put it all into one place. If you want to get in contact with this site, it'll make it very easy to do so. And in some cases, you'll also be able to see the department. So you can see if it's finance or if it's support and the type of email in which um, you're pulling. And under brand traffic, you'll be able to get some more information about their website. So you'll be able to see their bounce rate, the page per visit, the time on site number. You'll also be able to see their traffic sources. So how many people come from search, from referrals, from direct or from socials. And lastly, you'll be able to see which country brings in the most amount of traffic for that specific website. So those are the specific informations that you can get from a website or a brand while using Brand Analyzer. But there's also a couple of other features in which you can use. So you have the local hunter, which allows you to search any local business in the States. You have the SERP hunter, which allows you to search up any query or keyword and be able to see who's ranking for those specific keywords. You have your backlinks hunter, so you can enter a specific domain and you'll be able to see um, what backlinks they have for that specific website. And you also have the keyword hunter again, which allows you to search up any keyword and you'll be able to get some information um, about that keyword and websites that are ranking for that specific keyword. And lastly, you have the expired hunter, which allows you to search for expired domains on the internet. So if you're looking to do an in-depth analysis of a website or a brand, then I recommend using brand analyzer. 
they have some very powerful tools that make it very easy to gather key information about brands or domains on the internet. And there currently is a lifetime deal for brand analyzer on AppSumo. So the lifetime deal starts at $39 and you can get up to a hundred searches per month and you get all of the features included. So if you want to do some competitive research, then I highly recommend checking out brand analyzer. I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.